All right, I'm now going to show you. Oh, wait a minute, I'm left-handed. I can't do that. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm now gonna show you how to portage your canoe by yourself. I'm gonna show you two methods. One is the, uh, well, the normal method, and uh, I'll talk you through it. It's nothing to do with strength. It has to do with skill, okay? Well, look at me, I'm not strong. So it, it's like, oh, my dog's getting a treat from the neighbor and she's not supposed to, so the neighbor's going, shh. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do a one person lift, one person carry on the portage. When you're doing this, if you're like, oh no, Kevin, I can't do that. Look at me, my, my dad was a prize boxer. <laughs> look it, it didn't happen genetically. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do it by technique. And if you can't do that, I'll show you another alternative. Okay, right hand on the yoke. Use your thighs, put it up on your thighs, and then put your left hand over onto the gunnel. Left hand on the, on the outside gunnel. Now right hand on the inside gunnel. Then use the momentum of force, the pendulum idea, not strength. This has nothing to do with, with, with bronze. It has to do with skill. Okay, so one, two, three. Lift it over. And see, it's going to fall onto your shoulders. Make sure your shoulders are right into that, that yoke. And that's how you do it. This canoe weighs about 54 pounds, so that's also a great thing. Do it with a light canoe first or you'll be overwhelmed. When you're on the portage, put your arms forward and that'll make the nose down, not down too much, but down enough. If you can't do that, if your arms get sore or actually the mosquitoes are really bad because that happens, get a rope, tie it onto the bow and hold the rope as opposed to the gunnels. But don't do that, okay? Because the canoe's bow is gonna go down Make sure you do that. Once you get it into the portage, you do the exact opposite. You go up like that. The exact opposite maneuver. If you're like, no, Kevin, I cannot do that, and you're by yourself, try this one. It's called a one person lift, one person carry. Go to the bow, left on the gunnel, or, sorry, left on the outside gunnel, right on the inside gunnel. Lift it up like a lean-to, and then shimmy all the way down. Oh, this is, I don't find this is easy, but some people do. Then you shimmy down to the, to the portage yoke, and away you go, arms forward. Once you get to the end of the portage, same thing, to the front. That's a lot easier to some people than doing the one lift. Actually, once you do the one flip over lift and get used to it, it's fantastic. As long as it's a light boat and it's a good yoke on your shoulder, by the way. I don't think I've ever used a yoke that came with a canoe. I uh, use a by yoke that actually um, like and fits on my shoulders. In fact, I think I spent a lot of more money on a yoke than anything else. <laughs> I think that's really important. But yeah, uh, if you can't do that flip, to the one person, Ooh. and the dog is, Angel, Angel, come on. Oh, <laughs> did you get a treat from the neighbor? Oh, I did, Kevin, I did, here, here let me try it. I'll try and lift this. <laughs> a lot of people don't like uh, canoeing. I don't know if they like canoeing, but they're spooked of canoeing, spooked of solo canoeing because they can't think they can lift the canoe on their own. If you do the second one I showed you, you can do that no matter what the weight of the canoe is. But just don't do your first trip that has a three kilometer portage, because you'll hate it. Do one that's 200 meters, feel good about yourself, and then move on and progress. Okay, so, right, left, right. Oh, oh yo! Arms forward. Same thing when you get, to the other end. Okay, and by the way, that dog can't portage your canoe, but sure does carry its pack. Because I ain't carrying it for it. Uh, the other left, right, over. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Arms forward, nose up a little bit, but not too high, not too low. And away you go.
Okay, that was more difficult than I thought because the dog has pooed three times <laughs> and I had to maneuver around the poo. Too many treats from the neighbor. Poo everywhere. It's dangerous out in the wilderness. Thanks for coming out.